Hey, I'm going to demonstrate something that's going to blow your mind. It is it's bleeding edge AI. We're going to take up to a thousand URLs, a thousand different links to web pages. We're going to paste them in to some AI writing software. We're going to press one button, and the AI writing software will go to each of those links, each of those URLs crawl the data, summarize the data, and then write an article based on that data. So if you feed a thousand different links, a thousand different URLs, you could get up to a thousand different new pieces of content. Let me demonstrate. So the software we're going to be using is called ZimWriter. It's AI writing software, does a lot of different things. We're going to look specifically at this Penny Arcade feature that allows us to do this rewriting of content on the internet. So here is the input box where we can paste each URL on a new line. So we can simply go over here to a website and we can take the URL and paste it in there and then press start Penny Arcade. That's literally all you have to do. If you want multiple URLs, you can just put the next URL on the next line, but let's get fancy. Let's do a lot of URL. If I don't want to put things in manually, I can look for a sitemap. Most websites will publish sitemaps and you'll have to find the URL for the sitemap. For this particular site, here is the URL for this sitemap. And it will have a link to all the different posts on the website. Now, I can't just take these and paste them right into here because it's going to append the time code to the end of the URL. It will confuse the software. So we need to parse out the URLs. Very easy to do. Go to Google and type in sitemap URL extractor. First link is this SE, SEL, SEL, I guess. And then we need our URL for the sitemap. So here's the sitemap. I'll go back over here. I'll paste in the link to it and we'll load the sitemap. <clears throat> and here are all the links now extracted. So let's take the first like four or five. All right. And we'll go over here to Penny Arcade. We'll paste them in. Now there's some different settings we can choose. And this kind of goes outside the scope of this video, but you can choose the voice. I'm going to let the AI determine the voice based on the content of each uh, URL. We're going to do literary devices. I'm going to put on lists. We'll do tables. Let's have some short answer FAQs also based on the crawled and summarized data. We'll do auto style and have the AI come up with some SEO keywords. That's it. Let's just click start Penny Arcade and we'll sit back, watch this thing run. I'll speed up the video and we'll check out the results. Okay, our articles are now done and they're in the output folder inside of ZimWriter. And if you open them up, they're text files and they're in something called Markdown Format. And you can paste these directly into WordPress if you use Gutenberg and it will automatically convert the double hashtags to H2s and whatnot. If you don't use that or you want to edit it, you can take these documents and put them into something like a Markdown Converter. Here's a URL to one of them. Let's just drop one in here. To, uh, to check it out really quick. All right, now I'll open up the, the resulting file. So here's what it generated, okay? Here's the original URL. And I'm gonna make all these files available for you. I'll put them in the description below so you can easily review them at your leisure. But here is the original URL and here is the rewritten article. It used GPT 3.5 Turbo and it costs three pennies. Now, the reason I call this the Penny Arcade is because all of the articles that you generate inside of here cost just pennies. We're talking like two cents to seven cents, a very inexpensive way to generate massive amounts of content fast. So here are the different settings. Here's an image prompt. If you use something called Mid Journey, it generates an AI image. So here's your prompt to get that done. Here's your meta description. Here's the title of the article, Master Your Pitch, Daily Exercises for Accurate Singing. And then we have some subheadings that the AI came up with based on that analysis of that particular URL. And we can actually go to the URL right now. Let's go there and we'll compare just to check it out. I think you'll get a kick out of this. All right, so here's what we have. So here was like the first H2, for instance, warm up exercises for improved pitch and accuracy. Importance of pitch accuracy. So it's a completely different H2. Exercises and techniques, visualization techniques, so it's using the summary that the AI generated from this article to rewrite the article 
use different headings, talk about different things, but still use the data, still use that source information. So that is using competitor URLs, using URLs to then rewrite articles. You can and you can pull these URLs from anywhere. You can get them from news sites. You can get them from websites, basically wherever. Now, the other thing you can do, let's go back into Penny Arcade, and we can actually go to YouTube. So here is a, a video I made on YouTube. There's a Google product review update. I can actually go over here. What did, there we go. I got to make it a little bit bigger. There's some three dots over here. And I'll click the three dots and I'll say show transcript. And here's the transcript for the YouTube video. Now I'll click these three dots and I'll toggle the timestamps off. I'll take this entire thing and let's actually just scroll down and select it all. Copy it all. And I will go over here and paste the entire transcript in. So here's the entire transcript. So just to show you again, let's go back to the video. So we went to these three dots, we clicked show transcript, and it appeared up here, and then we toggled the timestamps off. Then we selected the entire transcript, and then we went back to the Penny Arcade and pasted the entire thing in. Now for this situation, we'll turn off literary devices. We'll leave the short answer FAQ on, We'll use uh, automatic keywords and leave it at that. So start Penny Arcade. Now what it's gonna actually do is it's going to write an article based on that YouTube video. So just one more time, it's taking the entire script from that YouTube video and it's gonna write an article for us. Now expand your mind a little bit, okay? You can do this for basically any big blurb of text. You can rewrite a school paper if you want to. You can rewrite anything, any text you can highlight and then paste in, it will basically create an article out of that. All you have to do is paste it into the Penny Arcade. Very simple. Now we'll let this thing run. I'll speed the video up and then we'll check out the result. Okay, the article is now done. Again, we just generated an article using the script the transcript from a YouTube video. Let's go to the all docs converter again, and we'll put this through to view an easier to read version. All right. So again, here is the original YouTube video and here's what we got. So this cost me 10 cents. Okay. 10 pennies mastering high quality product reviews, Google's new guidance on AI content, writing effective reviews. Google's best practices. So let's read one of these. Applying best practices and evaluating products and services from a user's perspective and demonstrating knowledge through evidence such as visuals, audios, and links are emphasized in Google's recent guidelines on writing high quality reviews. The search engine giant stresses the importance of being an expert in providing evidence to support expertise, as well as considering the perspective of picky buyers when writing reviews. To reinforce the authenticity of a review, Google recommends sharing quantitative measurements about how something measures up in various categories, et cetera, et cetera. And we even got a table in here and we have some FAQs. So all of this, the AI did not know, all right? This was an update from April, 2023. So it's actually using stuff from the transcript. It's using that information. Likewise, you paste those URLs into the Penny Arcade. You paste these URLs in here. It's actually gonna go out to those web pages crawl that data, summarize the data, and then write using that data. So if you're referencing a very fact intensive or fact specific URL, it's going to use that data in the article it writes. Let's talk about a couple more things with this Penny Arcade. There are some limitations. Number one, it will not work very well in product roundup posts. So if you have a product roundup post like the top 10 lawnmowers for 2023, it's not going to work very well. The max number of H2s you're going to get out of this is going to be about five. It is going to vary depending on the input length of the article that it's summarizing. But for the most part, you're not going to get what you expect from a product roundup post. Also, it's not going to do very well on a long listicle post. So top 20 things to do before you kick the bucket, it's not going to do very well. Now, it might do well on, on top five things or top 10 things to do before you kick the bucket. Don't kick the bucket, by the way. <laughs> but it might do a lot better on those listicles with fewer items in them. It's not going to write a terrible article, but you're not going to get 51 things to do or 30 things to do before you kick the bucket. And then finally, you need to be careful with these settings in here. 
if you are, let's go, let's say you, you're feeding in some URLs from a news site and you select literary devices, then the article is not going to come out sounding like a news article. It's going to start using metaphors and similes and things like that, which are not commonly used when talking in a professional tone of voice about a news item. So you'd probably disable this. You might have an FAQ. You might leave the, again, talking about news stuff here, you might leave the audience personality off. You're not going to select a second person for a news article. Maybe you'd select professional, or maybe you'd leave it on automatic. So you're going to have to play with the settings depending on your particular niche. There's billions of web pages out there, and all of those web pages have different styles of writing and whatnot. So before you just start queuing up hundreds and hundreds of URLs, do some tests first to get it how you want it. Again, this is not a magic bullet. This is not a one size fits all. It does everything for you. This is just another tool in the toolbox of ZimWriter. Zim, if you don't know about ZimWriter, it has a one-click blog writer. It has an SEO blog writer, a bulk blog writer. You can write up to a thousand different blog posts just using titles of articles. It has a local SEO buffet if you do local SEO stuff. It has advanced magic triggers and whatnot. Lots and lots of stuff you can do. Very powerful. Check my YouTube channel out for more information on this. There is a link to get ZimWriter in the description down below. There's also a link to the Facebook group. Amazing people that are AI enthusiasts in that Facebook group. Even if you don't get ZimWriter, join the group. You'll have an excellent time learning about AI and how to generate amazing content. So that's it. I hope you found this video enjoyable. If you're using Penny Arcade, tell me how you're using it, what you're doing with it. I'd love to hear your results. Keep smashing, keep smashing out amazing content. Good luck with your content generation. Until next time, I'll talk to you later.